Hi guys, welcome back to Figure Night Dana. My name is Abby, and today we're gonna to be doing our weekly chakra healing video. There's a vibe this week. I mean, I guess it doesn't help that we're starting, or it does help that we're starting the week with the moon and Aries. Um, but it's just a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire this week. We have um, bottom of the deck is the, um, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So there's a lot of spiritual stuff going on. Um, there's also a lot of institutional stuff going on. Like a lot of stuff popping in a work environment, but also in the spiritual envi environment. Um, but there's just like a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I hope the Pisces moon was beautiful for you guys. Um, I hope it treated you well. Um, this week seems to be something of like fire. That's really how I see it, honestly. Um, the first card in the card for the root chakra, we have the Eight of Wands. And this is telling me that there's things that are happening and moving a little bit quickly. And remember, the root chakra is not the, the, the chakra that like needs to move quickly or likes to move quickly it likes to be grounded so this type of energy is very interesting for the root chakra because there, there just might be something that you've petitioned or asked for that's coming in a little bit quicker or, or than you thought um there are some people that are going to be communicating receiving messages text messages calls emails um it's gonna be a little i don't want to say chaotic but it's just kind of like messages coming from different avenues coming from different places um people are reaching out um trying to connect trying to solidify something through communication uh something that has to do with your journey ultimately but there's so much fire so much fire and the presence of aries in this is not does it i see it right on and the reason why is because in the sacral space we have the emperor um so these two energies combined especially sacral and root is very interesting to me because the way that Aries usually goes in manifesting it tends to be uh, kind of in the moment you're on a journey you're reactive um, it's something that like the journey is dealt with by actively moving in different directions there's just um, kind of like okay this happened this is how I'm doing it okay cool that's what I'm doing boom next thing next thing this it's almost like getting through tasks really fast um, in the sacral space this tells me that some of y'all is ooh. first of all i would like to say that this week would be really good for some sacral activity if you know what i mean um this week's also very fiery very passionate very driven um mm -hmm. some people might set the intention to have kids or commit or um really get down into like if they have a partner or like they have a job or they have their own business and stuff like really getting into the nits and gritty details um on how it's going to proceed are you going to commit to this is this going to be something long term short term um i see a lot of things that are going to be affecting your journey overall happening this week like it's just very impactful very like okay we need to act we need to do something um i need to take control and it's really about taking control with this um it's about really really taking back your control so wherever you're lacking control you're going to see this kind of movement happening um and a lot of different opportunities coming along however there's something happening with our solar plexus here because our solar plexus is still a little bit kind of moving with some wounds um i think some of some people's egos are still a little bit bruised a little bit uh messed up um struggling in many ways um really kind of trying to find a way through everything but not really properly getting out of it there it, it's just i feel like there's still some people that are very you know reprehensive of how they're moving forward with the messages they're going to be receiving it's just like you're going to be receiving messages but are you going to like the messages that you're receiving are you going to connect with the person that's sending them to you it's just like a little bit of a distance there um and this could go hand in hand with the Virgo energy as well because it's just there's a lot of room for wanting that kind of space um but as we start moving into like Libra season you're gonna see that energy start shifting into the movement the cardinal 
energy. Um, so with the solar plexus being kind of like, okay, I'm moving, but I'm still a little bit wounded from the previous situation that happened. I'm still carrying a little bit of this because of that. Um, you have to be really careful because be, if because this week is very reactive, um, you, you can be both sides of the coin, but you ultimately want to be this. You don't want to be empowered and disempowered at the same time. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, so if you're going to really own up to your space and your fertility and your manifestation, especially in the sacral space, you need to make sure that your willpower is there. And even if you're getting all these opportunities and messages and all of these type of situations coming at you from all of these different angles you still have to have to be solid in how you respond you still have to agree you still have to be like okay this is something i want to do you really have to get into the nitty-gritty i just feel like some of you guys are going through a little bit of a something um now for the heart space we have another card in wands i told you fire will rule this week um for the heart space we have the seven of wands which means that you guys have some stuff going on in the heart space um, that's kind of all coming into cu accumulation. And I'm getting the message. If this is a past life issue, um, in regards to healing this, you might need to go into the Akashic Records and heal it. Um, mm -hmm. And as always, if you guys need help with uh, getting a past life reading done, I have that available as a service on my website. But this is telling me that there's something this has come to the point where it's been an overwhelming experience for you to the point where you kind of feel like you get attacked by it in different ways but you don't really know why you're just fighting it at this point at this point you're just pushing back you're trying to win you are winning but you also can win without having wars you know what i'm saying this is like constantly being in a battle versus not being one and still winning because you're not in one uh, so this is just like a conflict in the heart space this kind of connection this kind of Situation that is just keeps coming up and you keep feeling overwhelmed You keep feeling like you, you're losing power, but you're also trying to stay up there Trying to maintaining your power and it's a constant struggle back and forth and it could be why there's this kind of like Oh, but I'm still a little bit wounded from this situation because I feel like I'm always battling it um, so that's something that needs further healing, further assessment as far as uh, why it's there, why it's trapped, why your heart space is a little bit blocked right now, why it's a little bit sensitive, why you're feeling sensitive. So just pay attention to that this week because it just feels like we're struggling a little bit. And I'm not really surprised because that's also the crown chakra card that came out. So I'm not really surprised that that's coming up. Now for the throat chakra, we have the queen of cups. And the Queen of Cups tells me that even though we're going to be fiery as hell as far as our actions, how we feel, um, and how we're reacting to things, um, but when it comes to our mind and what we're actually saying, we're actually coming off very emotional um, and very much, uh, I don't know why the word needy came to me, but that's like the word that I'm getting, especially when you have this much passion. This is cancer energy. This is cancer energy. So it's like cardinal push, but cancer vibes in a way where it's just like this is what i need i'm not getting it this is what keeps happening i'm not getting it. i'm not getting a resolution it keeps happening i'm very irritated i'm very annoyed like it's a it's a very much um almost like speaking your emotional truths this week is what's coming up um so don't feel ashamed into doing that just don't hold the trauma of it i always say that when it comes to cancer placements cancer people cancer egos cancer anything um because they tend to hold on to micro trauma so just make sure that you are not holding on to the negativity that's attached to what you're saying what you're emotionally saying when you're speaking it out just release it um and let it be that but you it's a lot about speaking emotional truth this week um for whatever reason maybe that's how you heal the situation that keeps coming up but it's about really speaking from your heart um now for the third eye <laughs> we have the two of swords and the six of cups and this is interesting to me because this tells me right off the bat that this love situation that's happening in the heart space and in the throat chakra this is something that's been happening for a while but this is also something that you were warned about but you didn't want to do anything about so whether this could be like a family situation a baby drama mama situation um or somebody who is now needing to become a baby mama drama situation because um 
of how bad the situation's gotten is almost like you knew you weren't supposed to be together. You knew, you, like, you got all these messages, you got confirmation from all over. But there's always been like, okay, well, the willpower, if I accept it, if I do it, then, you know, this is what the situation is. If, you know, I will it, then I will it, whatever. And so, but the problem is that the vibe wasn't there, what you actually needed wasn't there what this person can give you only is is very limited in scope um and so you can only get so far with this person and you've known that you've known you've known this you've gotten clarity on it however you've been trying to avoid all the signs and all the messages that are telling you that this is not it, that this ain't it uh so now what's happening is that you have an opportunity to really address your emotional state and really look at yourself in the mirror i can see that a lot of you are going to be kind of a little bit struggling especially with a higher self this week um i would say do a higher self meditation and connect back to yourself and your purpose because that will help you can just get rid of all these kinks and really use that fire energy right because if you notice we have five cards in fire so there is a lot of like anxiety and kind of wanting things to sh change and like you feeling like something's coming something's changing something's just waiting and then everything starts moving one by one and kind of start something will be collapsing and something's but it's like you knew it was coming so ultimately it's about you accepting it healing from it not holding on from not holding on to the negativity from it accepting the lessons that they are but mm, for those who have like very crazy Taurus placements, I would say, um, or if you're dealing with the Aries as well, but for those who have very crazy Taurus placements, because the Taurus placements are very beautiful, but they also make you hold on to some crazy shit, I will say that. Um, Taurus placements, it, it, they tend to be very beautiful placements, but when they're overused, and I always talk about astrology as a, a spectrum, um, especially each sign each sign is a spectrum of things it can either go south or it can go north it, it's a spectrum so when it comes to this type of energy of holding on and wanting and the love and being kind of possessive and uh all about of oh, the value of it the what i have the treatment of it like how it makes you feel how it made you feel and holding on how that was in the past all of these things you really need to self-analyze this kind of energy in your life especially if where is affecting your chart right now because of the way uranus is moving um so pay attention to the taurus placements that are you know because they're kind of for some people they're really making you hold on to some things that you really don't need that you knew that you didn't need but now it's just like it's just like it gotta go um or you will suffer some really bad consequences from holding on uh so be very mindful of this tap back into your higher knowledge um your higher self i feel like a lot of people just need to do uh, some higher self meditations and it'll help balance out this energy because there's just a lot of fire happening this week um lots of sensuality i also feel like this this week could be really good for people who are just tapping into their fertility and really manifesting from their womb it can also be a really bad week for some people that are really holding on to some toxicity that they do not need to hold on to so keep that in mind for those this week please stay safe please be mindful of your words how you're reacting what you're saying what you're holding on to uh is really important because listen if it's if it's not necessary to continue it's not necessary to continue okay so i will see you guys in the next video um there's gonna be more videos coming up this week so stay tuned um and yeah so next week on monday we have the fall equinox live so i hope to see you guys there i'm really excited um because it's going to be the first live on my channel besides the workshop that i did before but it's going to be like the first like open live um on my channel so i'm really excited also don't forget to show uh check out the patreon uh because we're still growing over there and there's going to be more classes coming up uh, very soon um and yeah don't forget to subscribe as well thank you to all my new subscribers we hit a thousand seven hundred as per the last time that i checked <laughs> i'm so excited thank you so much for following me um as we continue to grow and everything um oh lastly there is a giveaway happening in my patreon on my patreon and um the winners will be announced on the 27th of september
so that's also next week but friday so yeah definitely feel free to join um and definitely check it out we have a lot of things going on in there so excited to join you anyway um i will see you guys in the next video bye